Hey guys, so I was working on a project and I had to drill into concrete and I do have a hammer drill and it just wasn't cutting it. So I went off to Home Depot and I ended up buying the last Ryobi rotary hammer drill that they had in stock there. So we're about to open it here on camera for you, get our first impressions of it, and then I'm gonna go test it out and see how well this works. And hopefully I can finally finish my project with this tool. All right, so let's go ahead and just open this thing up. That's it, the drill and the instruction book. All right, so there it is. This is the Ryobi Brushless Rotary Hammer Drill. So let's talk about some of the features on this uh, Ryobi Rotary Hammer Drill. So right off the bat, a rotary hammer drill is a little bit different than your standard drills. Uh, this is a rotary hammer drill SDS Plus, so it takes a special kind of fit for it. Um, when you buy these, to make sure that you're buying the right one, they will say SDS Plus on them. So make sure that your bit matches up with the rotary hammer drill if they take the SDS Plus design. You can see here from the bit that what we have is at the base of the bit, instead of just being perfectly smooth around like normal drill bits, there are notches cut out. And the way this works is that when I stick it in the end to put it into the drill bit, instead of having to loosen the chuck and then tighten down onto it. I'm just gonna push it in and those slots will line up with the interior and then tug on it to make sure it's fully seated and you're good to go. Now, if I wanna take it out, you're just gonna pull back and it'll release. All right, we have a depth stop, which is right here. So when you're drilling in the concrete, you don't wanna go any deeper than necessary. Um, usually you just want to go a quarter inch past whatever it is you're trying to seat into the concrete. So once you determine the depth of, that you need to drill into, then you'll set your depth gauge accordingly so that when your drill bit hits that point, then you won't be able to go any deeper. So you're not wasting your time and you're not doing any more damage to your concrete than necessary. So this drill also comes with an additional front grip to help you stabilize the drill while you're drilling into the concrete. And then as far as uh, different settings you have for the drill, you've got three different settings. So for the hammer and drill setting, this is your primary setting for drilling into any sort of masonry work. This will give you the rotation of a normal drill and the hammer setting to pound into the concrete to help break it up. Now, if you just wanna do normal drilling, cause you could use this drill for normal metal or wood projects as well, then you'll just press it on the button, swap it over till you just have the drill bit sign. And if you are gonna use this drill to help break apart concrete or tile or any sort of other masonry work, um, you can put a chisel bit on this. And for that, you would switch it over to the chisel setting. And when you need to adjust the chisel, if you're trying to go from a vertical or horizontal or even an angled uh, position for the chisel bit, then you'll set it to this one right here and it'll allow you to rotate it and allow you to adjust your chisels. Another feature is the LED work light that comes on when you turn on the drill. One more thing I wanna mention before we wrap up is Ryobi does say in the instruction manual that this um, does need a break-in period and the break-in period can be up to five hours of operation before uh, the tool is really at its maximum performance. There's also, uh, when it's cold, it needs some time to warm up, so don't expect maximum power and performance from this tool uh, due to low temperatures or you're just starting to use it, so it does need a few seconds to get up to full operating temperature. I'm considering doing a comparison video between the Ryobi hammer drill and the rotary hammer. So if you'd be interested in seeing that, then let me know in the comments below. We're gonna go use this to finish up the current project I'm working on, and hopefully it works, because this is my last resort. Make sure to tune in next week to see if this drill worked and if I was able to finish the project.